Hey everybody, Captain Kimo here, and in this video I'm going to cover Photomax Pro 5.0, the new release. Um, we're going to go over some of the new features that it has, uh, the new ghosting option that's available, and Contrast Optimizer, that uh, is the new tone mapping method that we're going to be uh, covering. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and load our first set of exposures, and this is three exposures, um, two stops apart. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and drop it into the window hit the OK and then this is OK we'll just hit OK here and then we have our merge to HDR options so the uh, the first thing you'll notice here is that we have a show options to remove ghost so uh, this takes out the automatic ghosting there's still automatic ghosting but if you want to do ghosting you have to click here and then it says show the de ghosting option which takes you into another window later on so you can either uh, check automatic or you can do it manually so let's go ahead and just check this so that we can go over it in the uh, the next window um, a line source image is similar to the last one and the rest is pretty similar to the uh, the other options in uh, photomatics 4 so let's go ahead and just leave everything as is and uh, go ahead and play with the show the ghosting option so this is the uh, Photomatix ghosting window. We have two options here. We have select de-ghosting and we have automatic de-ghosting. So let's play with the uh, selective de-ghosting first. Uh, what we do here to uh, to kind of select the area that we want in our photo. For instance, you can see a little fainted person. He looks like a ghost, and that's the term remove ghosting. So what this does is we can select we can click and drag and select an area of the photo that we want okay and then there's three exposures so we have to kinda select which one we want to use so we right click after and make the selection and then we want to right click and then set the exposure that we want to use so we're gonna want to use the uh, the zero EV down here so I'm gonna click this and then uh, we can preview the uh, the ghosting here so we click there you'll see the man here automatically so he's there um, instead of the ghost so if we return to the selection mode you'll see the ghost um, let's go ahead and do the automatic de-ghosting now we'll just go ahead and remove this selection and click the uh, automatic de-ghosting so we have an option here and this will automatically uh, select the, uh, the exposure or the the ghosting so we don't have to do any selection um, but we have to start with our base photo. Um, we can do the underexposed image, the uh, the zero EV, or the overexposed image. So we're we're gonna use the uh, the even one, um, and then we're gonna hit the uh, the ghosting here, uh, and we're gonna go all the way to the very strong. And instantly, you see the guy that we selected before appear right there in the uh, the photo. So that's the the the, the new uh, ghosting. Uh, technique they have here in Photomatix which is actually pretty cool and I like it so once you're once you're done there's the OK button you're not gonna be able to see this because it's a little bigger than the actual screen recording so I'm gonna hit OK and then we're gonna go into the tone mapping window okay so here is our tone mapping wim window let's go ahead and I'm gonna close this so we can get a better view here and um, the window looks similar to uh, Photomatix Pro 4 it hasn't really changed much um, the only thing that uh, is in addition that I notice is the uh, the in the tone mapping here we have contrast optimizer, and uh, that's the uh, the added one. So we also have you know exposure fusion with uh, all its other features. So um, for this video, I'm just going to focus on the contrast optimizer because that's the the new uh, the new tone mapping option that it has and uh, you can automatically see how uh, how nice it looks so let me go ahead and go back to the uh, detail enhancer this was the old method if we uh, let's say if we select the painterly here it looks it looks really nice looks great but there's just something to it it's very surreal so that might not be good for specific photos um, if, and then let's go ahead and click here so you can get a better view here there's some grain here and that actually goes into the uh, when you process it it actually shows a little bit um, not as much as you see here in the preview but uh, there is some grain so uh, with the contrast optimizer it fixes that problem um, so if I use the contrast optimizer and I click here you'll see instantly that there is no uh, no grain or no noise 
and the great thing about the uh, contrast optimizer is it, it's very limited. It doesn't have a lot of uh, features like uh, the uh, detail enhancer does with all these uh, features that it has. So there's just it's a limited amount of stuff that you get to play around with. So let's go ahead and start playing around with the uh, the settings here. So the strength um, you can just play around with it and see how you like the photo. And uh, with with uh, this I tend to bring it all the way up, but uh, for this particular photo we'll drop it down a little bit just to kind of um, show some of the uh, the black shadows there and then the tone compression again we can play around with that uh, kind of bring out some of the uh, the shadows we'll just bring it up and then the uh, lighting effect this helps with the uh, the highlights and then let's go ahead and go into the uh, the white clipping we can play around with that we can bring it up and that just really just brings it makes it brighter so play around with it so we'll leave it right about there it looks good there and then we'll play around with the uh, black clip and that looks good mid-tone Midtone is uh, good for uh, the shadows, and then saturation. You can desaturate, or you can really boost up the color. Um, that might be just a little too much, so I'll bring it back down a little bit. And then color temperature, you can get get it really warm or just really cool. But uh, I think zero, the uh, zero was perfect. So there it is. That's contrast or contrast optimizer and uh, let's go ahead and see the uh, the before here so that, that's before and then this is after the uh, tone mapping using contrast optimizer okay so let's go ahead and compare the uh, contrast optimizer with the uh, the painterly 2 here which is the detail enhancer so you can see the the difference so this is the uh, um, detail enhancer and then this is contrast uh, optimizer and you can see how uh, much nicer how much smoother the uh, the actual final photo looks so that's that's it for the video so that covers everything that I noticed that's that's new with the uh, photomatics and I like the contrast optimizer it really produces very smooth um, natural looking uh, pixels but then I can also make the image really pop um, and that's really been my my big uh, thing with Photomatix it just never produces really smooth photos but I was able to play around and just uh, make it uh, look how I want but uh, this new option definitely is worth getting the uh, Photomatix 5 for okay so that's pretty much it for this video um, if you wanna see more video tutorials you can visit my website at hdrworkshop.com and if you wanna see my latest photos go visit captainchemo.com um, you can also sign up for my monthly newsletter, which uh, if you sign up, you get a my 210-page uh, ebook on HDR photography. So don't miss out on that, and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe my to my YouTube channel. So until next time, this is Captain Kimo signing out.